Hey, welcome back to InfoGamer. In this video, I have a brand new game mechanic that I'll show you how to create. And the game mechanic that we'll be creating is material that fades when it gets close to a camera in your scene. This is a popular game mechanic that can be found in almost every third person video game. This game mechanic is so popular that you can even find it in Skyrim. And this is an important game mechanic to have, especially for third person video games because it allows the player to still see their character even if there's an object in between their character and the camera. Now if you'd like to skip the creation of this game mechanic, you can just go over to our asset store at www.infogamerhub.com and there you can find our complete material pack for $3. Now this Unity package currently only has the materials that we'll be creating in this video, but anytime we create new materials in the future, we'll be adding those materials to this pack. And so if you buy this package now, you'll be able to get any updates we make to this package for free, whereas the price of this package will increase as we add more materials to it. Another way to get this package as well as many of the other perks that we offer on our website is by becoming a monthly supporter. And this is the last chance to become a member on our website for $3 a month. It's been over a year since I launched the membership and I feel like I've added enough to it that it's time to bump the price up to $5 a month. And so if you want to get all the current benefits as well as all the future benefits for only $3 a month, make sure that you sign up to become a member before Monday the 1st, March 2021. And this price won't change unless you cancel your membership. Now before we get into the creation of this fade or dither effect, you're going to need to have the universal render pipeline installed in your project, as well as shader graph. Now in my project window, you'll notice that I have four PBR graphs and four new materials. You have a material for just basic color, a material for texture and color, a material with many of the same fields as the standard shader, and a material with a texture and a rim lighting effect. Now all four of these materials have the same camera fade effect, and all four of these materials come in our new materials package. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to create the camera fade effect because it's the same across all these materials, and then you can customize your shader graph beyond that point. So first off, you're going to want to create a new PBR graph, and this is done by right-clicking in your project window, going up to create, shader, and PBR graph. You'll then want to give it a name, my first one I've called color near camera fade, after which we can double click on it. This will bring up the shader graph editor for this shader. All right, so here on the right hand side, we have our PBR master node. Now we'll start by creating the properties. These are the fields that appear in the inspector when you have your material selected. And there's four properties that we need to create. The first is a color called color, which you can create by clicking on the plus sign and then selecting color. The next three are vector ones, which you can also create by selecting the plus sign and then vector one. The first one I've called dither offset. The second I've called dither range. And the third I've called clip threshold. Once you have these properties created, we'll then work through the shader graph from left to right. Now all the nodes that we have in the shader graph, you can create by right clicking anywhere in the editor and then selecting create node. And then the easiest thing to do is to just search for the node that you want. And so the first node that we have is a screen position and I've set the mode to raw. Another way to create nodes is by selecting the output of a node and dragging it anywhere into the editor and then releasing. And then from here you can search for the node that we want. Creating a node this way will automatically make the connection between the output of your first node and the input of your second node. And so the second node that we need is a split because we only want the alpha channel of our screen position node. And we'll have the alpha channel go into a subtract node. And we also want to add our dither offset property and we'll make the connection between this property and the other input of our subtract node. We'll then have the output of our subtract node go to a multiply node and we'll add our dither range property to the other input of our multiply node. Now from here, we want the output of our multiply node to go into the in of a clamp node, after which we'll jump up here to where we've added in our color property. And our color property is going straight into the albedo of our PBR master, but it's also going to a split node where we want to take the alpha channel and feed it into a multiply node. We'll then take the out of our clamp node and give it to the other input. From here, we can take the out of this multiply node and send it right into the alpha of our PBR master. Now last up, we need to create this branch, which we'll do by first adding in the clip threshold property. And we'll send this property to the end of a dither node. And it's the dither node that gives our fade effect that pixel pattern that you see. And we'll make the connection between this dither node and the alpha clip threshold of our PBR master. And there you have the shader graph for the basic camera fade effect. And so we can now click the save asset button. Now of course there's more that you can do with this shader graph if you want to add in a texture or a metallic property. It's really up to you, but as long as you maintain this basic structure, whatever material you end up creating, 
will have this camera fade effect. Now to create material with this PBR graph, you'll want to right click in your project window, go up to create and select material. You can then give your material a name. This material I've called color near camera fade and you'll want to use the shader drop down menu to go to shader graph and then you'll select your PBR graph. From here you can play around with whatever properties you've added to your shader graph. For the dither effect I found that 0.5 for the offset, 0.5 for the range, and 1 for the threshold are the best settings. Now you'll notice that this effect even works within the scene view. So if I move my scene view camera close to an object you can see that it begins to fade. And to demo this effect even more, I'll just play through my project real quick. Now that's everything that we're going to show you how to create in this lesson. If you enjoyed learning how to create this material, make sure that you give this lesson a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And subscribe to our channel so you can be notified whenever we publish new videos.